Hello, welcome back, Chevra, for another installment in this series, Verse Words. This week's Parsha is Parsha Tazria. That can be found in your Bibles from Leviticus 12, verse 1 through 13, verse 59. This video is being prepared for the reading cycle for the Jewish year 5779. Again, this series is a thank you, is a bonus for my patrons over on Patreon. I appreciate your support. Um, Happy to hear your, your questions, your thoughts. So if anything comes up, uh, if you have any ideas, any questions, please feel free to approach me. Okay? Okay, let's begin. Parsha Tazria. So this week's Parsha is a little difficult Parsha to uh, discuss. The, um, it deals primarily with the uh, with, with issues dealing with Tuma and Tahara, with purity and uh, Im, with impurity and purity. Um, primarily dealing with the Tzirat, the uh, the so-called leprosy, various uh, afflictions that would render a, an individual impure, dealing with certain skin conditions and whatnot. Of course, we. Uh, the rabbis say that even though these have physical manifestations, that these were really spiritual conditions. Um, okay, I guess you could look into that. <laughs> it's a pretty deep topic. So, anyway, let's go. Leviticus, the first chapter, the first uh, aliyah, the first verse I'm ch I've chosen is Leviticus 12 3. Okay, Uvayom Hashmini Yemol Basar Orlato. Uve yom hashmini yemol basar orlato. Okay, uve yom hashmini, and on the eighth day, yemol, he shall circumcise basar, the flesh, orlato, of his orla. Of his orla. His orla is his foreskin. So orlato, his foreskin. The um, term orla. Uh, in itself, that word, the shorish, ein reish lamed, has uh, connotations of being hidden or being off limits. Okay, or lato, foreskin, his foreskin. Okay, second, Aliyah, Leviticus 13, 7. Im pasa tifse hamispachat boor Achre heroto el hakoin, the taharoto venira shenit el hakoin. Okay, one more time. Ve im pasa tifse ha mispachat, boor achre heroto el hakoin, the taharoto. Venira Shenit El Hakohen. Okay, we're dealing with an affliction, a mispachat, a certain kind of nega, a certain kind of affliction. It says, Im pasa tifse ha mispachat. If certainly the, the mispachat had spread, but or in the, on the skin, Achrei heroto el hakohen. After it was shown to the kohen, the taharato, in order for it to be pronounced pure, venira shenit el hakohen. Then the kohen it should be shown a second time to the kohen, to the priest. Or means skin or hide. So or meaning uh, it would be the same thing for your skin. It also would mean leather. Or like a, be a, a vessel of, of leather, a kli or, or beged or, a, a garment of leather. Okay, or, skin or leather, skin or hide. Okay, the third aliyah, the third verse, Leviticus 13, 19. Vahaya bimchom hashchin se'et lovana o boheret lovana adam Dem damet venira el hakohen. Okay, this is a bit of a mouthful, a little obscure. Vahaye bimchol mashchen, and there was a place in the in the place of the shchen, a certain type of affliction, something like a boil. 
Se'et Lavona, some sort of raised place. Lavona, that was white. Se'et Lavona, that was whitish. O, or Beheret Lavona Adam Damet, or a Beheret, a, another sort of raised um, affliction, that was Lavona Adam Damet, that was whitish red. So it was pink, essentially. Or it, it could be, as some uh, commentary, commentary say, that it was white with red streaking. In either case, um, Venera el coin, and it shall be showed to the coin. So Lavan means white, and Adam means red. So Lavana Adam Damet means whitish red, or reddish white. Okay, my inclination is to call it pink, but again, there are those commentators that would say this is uh, it is more or less white with red uh, streaking. Okay, Lavan, white. Okay, the fourth Aliyah, Leviticus 13.25, Bara'a Ota HaKohen, Behine Nehepech Se'ar Lavan Babaherat, U mareha amok min haor tzarat he ba mikva parcha vatime oto hakohen nega tzarat he. One more time. Bara oto hakohen behine neapak sear lavan ba baherat u mareha. Amok min haor, zerati, bimikve bimikva, parcha vatima oto akoin nega zerat he. Okay. Vera oto akoin, it should be shown to the coin, but the coin can see it. Behine, and behold, nehepach seir lavan, if the hair in it. Hair of this uh, this affliction has turned white. The hair in the hair, umara amok min haor, and or or its uh, appearance, its mar mareha, its appearance is amok min haor. It's deeper than the skin. It has some sort. Of, it seems to go deep beneath the skin. Zerati. It is zerat. It is this affliction of zerat, this leprosy. Bamikva. Paracha, paracha, in a uh, burn it has bloomed, bloomed up, and it is a tzarat that has bloomed in a burn. So, so mikvah is a burn, and parach is the verb to mean to bloom, like like flowers. So this is a not so pleasant sort of bloom. This is a blooming of some sort of affliction. It is tzarat. Okay, v'tima otel kohen. So the kohen should pronounce him tameh. She can pronounce him impure. Why nega tzarati? Because it's a it's a affliction of tzarat, of this leprosy again, the spiritual leprosy. Sear means hair. Sear means hair. Okay, fifth uh, fifth pasuk, fifth verse. Leviticus thirteen twenty nine. Veish o isha ki yevo naga. Berosh o bazachan. One more time. Veish o isha ki yeye boy vo naga berosh o bazachan. Okay, and a man or a woman ki when yeye there shall be vo on it naga a affliction. Berosh on the head, oh Bazachan, or on the beard. So let's hope that the beard does not belong to an Isha, to a woman. <laughs> okay, so whenever this affliction happens, and of course this is dot dot dot, this is one of those oddly cut uh, verses that leads into the next verse. Okay, so a Zachan is a beard. I believe we covered this when we did the word Zachan, very similar root. Zachan means an elder. So again, I think I noted at that time that Zachan, Zachan, 
that a beard is so closely um, closely uh, related to to Jewish maturity to Jewish uh, masculinity that uh, that it is that the, 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 the two words for beard and for elder have the same shavish, the same root. Okay, verse six, sixth Aliyah, Leviticus thirteen forty seven. Okay, and 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 concerning a beged, a garment, he when yeah there shall be bow in it, or bow rather in it. Negat Zerat, a affliction of Zerat. Now, clearly, this term Zerat cannot mean leprosy in you know, any sort of normal, regular sense, because, of course, we know garments don't get leprosy. But nevertheless, there's something visible going on here, some sort of visible affliction in the garment. So, whenever a garment should have a have, have Zerat, Beveged Zemer, whether it be in a Beveged Zemer, a garment of wool, O or beveged pishtim or any garment of linen. Okay, this is our, we have two for here. When we mention concerning garments or textiles, when we mention semer, we almost always are going to be closely followed by pishtim linen. And of course, this is the combination that if we combine them together in a single garment, this would be what is termed by the Torah shatnez. Shatnez is the forbidden mixture of wool and linen so it's just those just those two uh those two species combined together they create this combination of um of shatness of course it's a very obscure mitzvah a very obscure reasoning behind it um if we can know the reasoning at all nevertheless it is forbidden a forbidden mixture we don't wear it okay seven Leviticus 1355. <speaking in Hebrew> Pechetet he Becharachto o Begabachto. Some tongue twisters there. One more time. Bra hakohin Achare Huchabes et Hanega. Behine Lo hafach Hanega et Eno. Behanega lo Fasa. Tome hu hu. Be'esh tisra fenu, pechetet he, bechorachto o v'gabachto. Okay, so v'ra'ah ha'kohen, we'll see, v'achri hilchvas es ha'nega, after the, the nega has been bathed, been washed, after the affliction has been washed, v'hine, and behold, Lo hafa lo nega es eno. The 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 nega the affliction has not turned et eno its appearance. Vha nega lo fasa and the affliction has not spread. Nevertheless, tamehu it is tame it is uh, impure. Beish tis tisrafenu and with fire and fire you should it, it, you should burn it pechetet he it is a piercing affliction it it pierces the entirety of the item pechetet he bicharachto o gavachto this is a mysterious phrase um whether it so the different interpretations whether it be on the inside or the outside of the uh, garment is one interpretation. 
Another interpretation is whether it be with a, with a new garment or whether it be with an old garment or actually the other way around, with an old garment, with a new garment. Um, there is a verse that uses the same phrase concerning baldness, just a few verses pr uh, prior, uh, right? And of course the term kerach means to be bald. So this is uh, also used over there so the connection between here with a garment and then over there with the baldness is obscure so this is some sort of idiom that is obscure to us today okay so different commentator different commentators do different things with this okay so anyway but the word here is a no a no comes from the term ein or ein which means i a no means its eye, so, or its appearance. Its appearance. You don't have to use context to know what's being talked about. We know the garment doesn't have an eye. So, it would tell me its appearance, the wound's appearance. Okay, that was seven verses, seven words. Maybe a couple bonus words thrown in. I hope you join me next week. Call Tuf, Sakharava. Keep learning.